The FBI warning of U.S. election interference by Iran and Russia. National Intelligence Director John Ratcliffe accusing both countries of obtaining American registration information while specifically calling out Iran for sending spoofed emails designed to intimidate voters. For more on what all this could mean for geopolitics and the energy market, let's bring in Halima Croft, Managing Director and Global Head of Commodity Strategy at RBC Capital Markets. Whenever we want to understand what's going on in the Middle East, Halima, we talk to you. On Iran specifically, first of all, what, what do you think they're after? And, and how does the U.S. election and U.S. policy toward Iran influence the energy market? This maximum pressure campaign from Trump administration has really cut down Iranian crude exports. I mean, President Trump basically believes that the Iranians are trying to make him look bad going into the election. Others are saying it's a generalized attempt to discredit American democracy and so doubt about election outcomes, kind of similar to the Russian strategy. I think the big issue on Iranian exports is if Trump is reelected, I think we're going to see more of maximum pressure, which is just upping the pain on the Iranian regime and on the sort of country. And the question is, does that eventually bring them back to the table? With a Biden administration, we really could be looking at a re-entry into the Iranian nuclear deal that could potentially bring about a million extra barrels of Iranian crude back onto the market in the back half of the year. So I think the election really does matter in terms of Iranian barrels potentially getting back onto the market. I don't think this story today would derail the Biden re-entry into JCPOA, but it's just something we would have to watch. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.